This is going to be a real quick one. Uh, people think Pusha T co-signed Weekend Dissing Drake. I don't even, I'm not even sure if Weekend's dissing Drake, but that's what they're saying on this new song. Let's get into this one. And also, Ray Schmerman News. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, guys. Okay, real quick, I'm not going to drag this one out. So we all know the weekend dissed, uh, well, allegedly, I don't think he really did, but he said he dissed Drake saying, uh, and I just want a baby with the right one because I can never be the one to hide one. We all know Drake supposedly hit his baby and he was going to have a big rollout and Pusha T exposed it in the diss. Well, Pusha T's being petty and he put the flame emojis <laughs> in response to the uh, Lost in the Fire music video, Okay. Now, the song is fire, so, but he is being petty. We know that. Uh, people reacted, footage of Drake listening to uh, Lost in the Fire, uh, him in pain. Someone said more of this tweet, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Uh, if you know, you know. Now, Weekend and, Dr uh, and Drake have been going back and forth for years. They were friends the past couple years, but remember when Weekend was like gonna sign to OVO and then he didn't? They had a little problem around that, around 2012, 2012. I think 5 a.m. in Toronto was pretty much about them. But then they got cool again. They put it past them. And they're both like the top artists, obviously, in their fields. Uh, and they're both from Canada. Um, a lot of people are just, you know, feeding into this. It's really nothing. Um, another thing, uh, Ray Sh I never, I'm never going to say this right, okay? It's ear drummer spelled backwards, but Ray Schremen. Ray Schremmerd. <laughs> Slim Jimmy. We love his personality. Him and Sway are great together. I would not really want to see him apart. I like him doing features like on other people's records, but I, I would never want to have a solo album for one of them. I would rather just have them together. They're, they're dope together. Well, he's saying, y'all still got your man Sway. Y'all be straight. Not Shrem life. I'm not Ray Schremmerd. I'm Slim Jimmy. And I'm going to sink or swim by myself. We all want it to rap. I think he's just like trying to get some attention going up. Maybe he's just having fun with people. But, uh, you know, that's nothing's really happened with that. Uh, Soldier Boy's going crazy on the internet. Says he's worth $30 million because people were making fun of his face being corrected. But he did just get in a car accident. So, uh, obviously, it would be swollen. I'm not gonna do another video on this. So like three new iPhones are being reported for this year because Apple's scrambling because they missed their earnings by like six or seven billion dollars this year because they thought releasing iPhones in China and India would be a good idea at that high price point of over a thousand dollars when they have phones for $500 in China that do the same thing. They have, they have a knockoff iPhone there. So they're scrambling, they're gonna put uh, more they're gonna handle different things this year with new iphone it's, it's like how many iphones can we get that do the same thing what's going to be so great about this new iphone nah, i i can't see it they'll probably put a better camera in because they've been jipping us in the camera i'm i'm, I'm just sick of upgrading my phone i'm gonna be honest with you uh the only way i'll upgrade is if i break my phone uh anyways guys what do you guys think about that uh I'm going to try to do another video. There's not a lot of news out here, so I'm not going to like stretch it. Maybe I'll come up with a good topic and we can talk about that. But I really appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. And as always, be safe out there, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Peace.